And then there is another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? New week, same wave, gonna keep on hitting. Appreciate everybody that's been pulling up, showing support, whether that's through a like, dropping a comment, hitting the sub up button. Y'all know what to do. The shit's free anyway. Uh, anything else I want to get to? As always, you know, I'm thankful y'all here real quick. And let's get into the story. So there's this thing that's been going on. I can't get it. I mean, I get letting the kid be in the kid, but these adults are putting these little boys in dresses and you know exposing them to something at such an early age planting seeds that would never have been there otherwise i don't get why it's happening it and then in the same breath women are going to turn around and say men are weak and men aren't strong as they used to be and blah 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 but then they doing crap like this that's a little boy right there in a dress from the movie frozen I don't know exactly who that is because um, I've never seen the movie Frozen, you know, but um, this is Megan Fox. You know, stars are doing it. Regular people are doing it. And we're going to get into it. Now, this is Charlize Theron or Theron or however the hell you say her name. This is her with two uh, children she's adopted. I believe both of these are biological little boys. And here they are wearing pink, wearing a dress, got the hair. I think that this is the frozen thing or something, the hair from, you know, and I and I can't get it. It's sick. These people need to have their children removed from them because, you know, what I'm saying this is a this is a type of child abuse. This is psychological abuse. This is going to bring uh, uh, about identity issues and stuff like why is this happening? And you don't see it happening Many places besides America or American influence places, you know, where we're, we're pushing this agenda, this whole alphabet community. All right, let's get to this. Let, let that be the first and last time I see you do that, please. So take, that off. Take, take that off immediately. So this guy comes to the daycare to pick up his kid and his kid, his son is in a dress. It's crazy. Up, it's crazy. Yo. You send your kids to daycare for them to be protected and get to socialize and learn. And now they're exposing them to, to crap like that. I mean, every day I feel like there's more and more reasons why people should homeschool their children every single day. Because the teachers go to school with their own biases, their own beliefs and shit like that. And then they try to push it on the kids. That's where I have the problem. Believe in whatever you want to believe in. I have my own beliefs. I'm not going to be at work spewing my beliefs. I'm not going to be at, like, if I was, like, in, like coaching or, or a teacher or something like that, I'm not going to be at work pushing my own agenda on these children. They, they have nothing to do with it. Now, if it's in your home and you're a parent, that's one thing. But to be an adult, and be in control of these children and molding them in this way. Like, this is sick. These people all need to be looked into, man. And you guys never, ever let my son put a dress on. Ever. Okay. Ever, ever, ever. And this one was probably in this little pink dress. I don't know if this is a dress or a blanket. You understand me? Like, ever. Like, ever. And that's her taking the dress off of him. Yo, this, this father's showing a lot more restraint than me. You know what I'm saying? I get it. He recording and, you know, but... I don't even know if I would have thought to pull out my phone to record it, bro. Yeah. No problem. No problem. No worries. You can't gotta do that. First time and last time. Yeah. First time and last time. Bullshit. Bullshit. Anytime you catch somebody doing something, it's not the first time they did it, yo. It's not. It's the first time they got caught. Yeah, first time and last time. Ever. Bullshit. Ever. You know, and then recently I saw this making its way around. Because the, the, the previous video is a little bit older. This making it around um, in Halloween. It says, we allowed our son to choose his Halloween costume. First of all, what what kind of father is this? What kind of father? And you're going to hear him throughout the... the, the we're going to hear him. What kind of father is this? You allow your son to choose it. And he go and pick it, that up. And you're like, okay, that's, that, that makes perfect sense, bro. Not my bro, but dude... This is wild. This is this is this is your lineage. And you got him out here in a fucking dress? 
the fuck? What if this kid see this shit when he in high school type shit? You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, this shit wild, bro. Let's see. Really? It's kind of warm. And I'm sorry, y'all. I know it's little kids in this shit and his face here, and I'm sorry, but you feel me? This shit, you feel me? This is not a look. Especially, he's, this is a black kid. Or at least mixed with black. You know what I'm saying? And this is not a good look. This this father got to be in a sunken place. He got to be. You know what I'm saying? If you out there and you get a chance to see this video, blink twice. Leave a GIF with two blinks or something like that. So we know you're not in a sunken place, bro. Because this is wild. I look like this. Look at this. Even told a little dude how to walk, yo. Probably got him in some heels. Yo, this is child abuse, yo. And these people need to be looked into, bro. Oh no, surpri no surprise. No surprise. Seen the, hat she, seen the hat she had on? It's kind of warm. I look like this. I don't see not one black person in this video, yo. Besides maybe the, the, the dad that's behind the camera. That's it. And he's a beta all the way. Have fun. <laughs> Are you having fun? Got this motherfucker walking, holding up. Got this little dude walking, holding up the dress like, yo, bro, yo. This is crazy yo or am i the only one if you stuck around this long in the video i appreciate it let me know what y'all think yo is this child abuse is this allowing a child to be his best form of himself and be accepted and all that and and maybe i got it wrong like i really want to know yo join the conversation on this one for real for real you like gammy that's his dad talking about you looking sharp you got a dress and a blazer kids should be free to express bro this is crazy yo this is not expression this is indoctrination this is sick I don't care how much a kid loves a movie. If you go to the store with your kid and they talking about they want something that you know is, come on, that's not expression, bro. That's a little bit of confusion because they're a child. And what you do as a parent, as a father, is you is you guide them the right way. Not not put them in a fucking dress, bro. How many dump trucks do you have? Um, we have two dump trucks outside. Uh, I'm sorry. I just need an extra bagel. He said, how many dump trucks do you have? He said, two. All right, so you got half, he got half as many dresses as he got dump trucks. The fuck is the point? What are you trying to say? He's masculine because he got dump trucks? Dude, you put him, the little boy, in a dress, bro. This is sick, yo. Mama's going to take your shot. We're going to take your shot. Good job. Getting all the dresses out of it. Yo, man, this kid is going to be confused, bro. And the crazy shit is, is they going to allow it all to happen. These, the, the, this, this family around him is going to allow the confusion to take place, yo. Had this little boy at 12 on puberty blockers chopping off his, his, uh, his, his wood and regretting it by the time he reaches to his mid-20s, late 20s. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying this happens. I'm not saying him particularly. I don't want that to happen. I hope he's able to get some sort of help, um, you know, but... This is crazy, and it's I've seen the mom, the grandmother, and the dad is behind the camera, and they're all allowing this shit to happen. I hope that this kid is all right in, in life because this is, yeah. Right, it's kind of warm. Oh, man, this, is, this one was a hard one to watch, but I felt like needed to be addressed. I felt like, you know, this cannot be promoted and 
uh, as kids being able to express themselves and is like free free expression and shit like that. This is not the wave, you know what I'm saying? And before I get to my last random clip, one more time, if you did enjoy the video and, and enjoy the content over here, I appreciate it very much. Go ahead, hit the like button, drop a comment, join the conversation. Really want to know what y'all think about this. And um, yeah, hit that follow up, sub up button and uh, let's take this journey, rock out. And then my last one. He says, do you, that's how we started it, because um, it might not pick it up. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to get a tattoo? No. No. It's a pretty permanent decision. They can't make the decision for themselves yet. Something permanent on their body. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? Yes. Yes. And I understand how that sounds really hypocritical. Yes, it's a permanent change on their body, but I think that at that point in their life, they probably know who they are, who they want to be. And you think so at 12 years old? Uh, yes. Gotcha, bitch. Hey, yo, stay wavy.